Pete and Wayne. Got a new member, Gus. Gus, what'd you do before you joined Double Candy? Well, Tim, I spent nine years teaching 12th grade math. Yeah, Dwayne spent nine years taking 12th grade math. <laughs> Could we? <laughs> Good. What kind of grooming tips you got? Well, Tim, probably uh, the biggest concern in construction today is when you've got to go somewhere really fancy straight from the job site. That's right, buddy. You can't show up looking like this to Vegas night at the Kiwanis. <laughs> so, what's the guy to do? Well, Tim, we like to use the tools of our trade to clean up our act. Let me show you something. Tim, I want you to take a look at my boot and tell me what you see. All right. Mark, move on in a second with it. Oh, good golly molly. I see a little bit of concrete shavings, maybe some tar. <sighs> something maybe you should have wiped off before you came in here. <laughs> well, it's not going to look like that for long. Because all I have to do is take an ordinary saw, roll it around my screwdriver like this, Stick the screwdriver in my drill, and voila, I've got myself a nifty boot buffer. <laughs> hey, hey! Now there's a tip we can all use. I've always said you can tell a man by the shine of his shoes. And by how clean his nails are. You need a little work on those nails. Well, that's why we've got this whole line of Benford hand care products and attractive packaging, environmentally sound. I know they're dirty now, Tim, but sometimes on the job site, when you ain't got no water, you can't get your nails clean, all right? So before I step out to the discos, I take a ten penny nail, and I scrunch out all that filth and crud. Here, Marv, you want to come in for a close No, let's not do that right now. You know, I respect you about having a meal or something. We'll just forego that demonstration, but thanks so much for showing okay, us that. Okay. Anything else you guys got for us? Well, Tim, probably the biggest grooming problem out on the construction site is, well, helmet hair. Oh, yeah, that head, that head, that head. <laughs> Not a real big problem on here, is it? Why don't I just buff that up to a high gloss? <laughs> Tim, I found that uh, a good strong air compressor works beautifully to add bounce to a lifeless hairdo. Uh, you want to give it a shot? Right here. All right. Okay, that's better. That's all the time we have. Next time we get to more grooming tips, the guys can come back. Right now, Al, why don't you tell us what's on the next show? Well, next week we'll be doing our salute to electrical wiring. <laughs> Thanks for joining us until all time. I'm Tim Taylor. See you next time. Al. Hi. Hi. Did you hear what happened? What's that? Mr. Binford died. Mr. Binford? Yeah, he had a heart attack this morning. Oh, I, I can't believe that. Does Tim know? I don't think so. Well, I... Boy, he's going to be devastated. Mr. Binford was like a father to him. Don't do that again. Oh, that was a fun show. Thanks, guys. Really uh, a lot of fun. Uh, brace yourself, Tim. Something awful has happened. Oh, you saw your mom in the shower? <laughs> Mr. Binford died. How can you play darts at a time like this? Because the foosball table's broken. <laughs> Mr. Binford passed away. Don't you think we should talk about this? He's dead. I get out of my way. I think you need to grieve. I think you need to get out of my way, Al. Well, if you don't want to talk about it, I certainly do. Oh, come on. Well, Mr. Binford's death was very traumatic for me. You know, there, there, was, there was something left unresolved between us. Between you and John? Yes. Last week... I asked if we could have a hot water spigot on the water cooler. And he said that he didn't think it was necessary, so the next morning, I was very curt to him when I said hello. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's it. And now I have to live with that for the whole rest of my life. Oh, that's a terrible burden, Al. I know, I know. It's probably nothing compared to what you must be going through. Now, I'm not going through anything. When was the last time you spoke with him? Yes, sir. You did? How'd he sound? Alive. <laughs> did he say anything about my being curt to him? 
Did he say... As a matter of fact, that's... That's all we talked about. I'm convinced that that's what killed him, Al. Al, it was a joke. Al, come on. Sorry, Tim, but I'm... I, just, I don't have my usual sense of humor. And frankly, I find your attempt at levity a little inappropriate. What am I going to do, cry in my beer? Well, if you did, I wouldn't look down on you. It's not going to bring him back, right? That's not the point. You suffered a big loss. We all did. <laughs> Pull it together, we you, <laughs> Just, I didn't really need that spigot. Nice to have some hot chocolate once in a while. It devastates them when they run out of coordinates. <laughs>